Dora is up with me this morning making food for the babies. Good morning, Dora. She is in heat. And um, we are going to breed her to Louie this time. So we've got the puppy food. We use the Royal Cannon starter. I put that all over the, the bowl here. I got their milk in here. Let's go feed the babies. Here's all the babies. Hopefully you can hear me with fan on low for a minute. Um, it's a challenge trying to keep the flies out of here because um, we've still got, well, Sparta's in the puppy pen, the one that goes outside, and that door kind of stays open all the time. Um, well, you can see they've they ripped, it used to look like a, like the car wash slits, but they've, um, they've ripped a hole in it. So, there they go. Um, but the flies come in and out at will. So it's hard to keep them out of this box um, because, well, no matter how clean it is, there's puppies and poop and food and everything else that flies love. Um, but these are the babies. These are the Briar Figgy babies. This is red. This is red. Red is a boy. And this is purple. Purple's a girl. And this is green. Your collar's a little bit tight, buddy. This is green. Yep, that's green right there. And this is the formy girl with no collar. This is the black formy male. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. This is my little guy. Isn't he adorable? He's so damn cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. He's a little guy. Don't count him out, though. He's strong. And there is. He's green again, trying to get out. It's orange. Orange. No, oh, oh, buddy. It's okay, buddy. It's all right, buddy. It's me. They kind of get scared when they just feel stuff, but then they smell me and they know it's me. It's nice to, it's nice to have their confidence. There's purple again. And red again. Here is the no color for me girl. Here is light blue. There's Miss Pinky. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Pinky. There's the little dude again. Oh, he's so tired. Just orange. All right. So we got his right here's regular blue, not light blue, regular blue. Mm -hmm. He's so cute, aren't you? You are. They have full teeth. I probably can't, can't see it in the video, but I can feel it on my fingers. So they are three and a half weeks old, and they are almost completely weaned. Um, here's the formy male. Here's purple. Here's the formy male again. Green. And that's red down there. No collar girl. Here's pinky pink. He's pinky pink. Hi, pinky pink. She's really good at eye contact. Huh. She's really good at eye contact. So are you. This is for me, girl. There's a little man. <laughs> Still making silly faces. Pinky. Pink's got some stuff to say this morning. Is your growling, Pinky? Yeah? My babies. It's my babies. Yeah. I love all these babies, I do. There's blue. There's purple. There's light blue over here. Alright, are you guys ready for some food? Alright, I gotta pause this so I can put the food down for a second. Okay, they've got their food. Now the flies are really gonna wanna come in here because they really like that stuff. Hey guys, come here. Look, the food is over here. The food is over here. Let's scoot this dish this way some so somebody can get out over here on the other side. Come eat. Come on, come eat. There you go, Black. There's a spot for you. There we go. Now everybody's eating. Briar, what do you hear? There they are. How good they're all eating. Prior. What?
happy babies. Super happy babies. So they're on this mush until um, this is their second full day on this. And they'll get this um, four times a day. Keep your foot out, Pinky. There you go. And Briar will be going home next week, and that's when they will move out to the actual puppy pen. Um, Red from the last litter is leaving on the 9th. Um, and Sparta is obviously staying here, but that's when she's going to come in and start her training process. Um, so these guys can have the puppy pen, and we'll get that all cleaned up for them and sanitized as usual. <coughs> and then you'll be able to see them in the bigger pen. I know it won't be as easy to watch them as it is in here where they're captive on the live feeds because they can go in and out over there on their own, but at least you get to see them a little bit. And um, one of our puppy families is going to come and help us um, build a another roof for the outside of the puppy pen. So if anybody's local um, and you want to come and help us figure out how to put that up and put the fencing around it, uh, we would appreciate any help that anybody wants to give and any advice on how to do it. Um, because the last time that we tried to, well, the last three times that we've tried to make this work without a permanent structure, um, each time the uh, carport, even though we, the last one had a basketball frame reinforcing it and probably <laughs> about $200 in duct tape um, putting it all together. And the thing weighed a ton. It took six of us to get it into the puppy pen and the first storm came through and it just blew it away like it wasn't even there. So we get some horrendous flatline winds here in Tennessee, um, especially where we're at because we're on such a high elevation. Um, not necessarily that it's not like mountaining, but um, we are at the highest point in our county. So we do catch a lot of wind here, um, but we still love it. The nice breeze is always good in the summer. And um, for some reason, the weather a lot of the kind of normal weather weather seems to go around us, uh, which is nice when we have something planned for outside and it says rain and you can watch it go around you. I gotta wipe Pinky's face. Pinky has milk all over her nose, all up in her nose. Yep. The cool thing about this is they actually let you wipe their face because Aiden comes in here and wipes their faces after we bottle feed them. If you've seen some of the live feeds, you've seen probably seen him doing that he'll go through and and clean off each and every one of their mouths after they eat so we let them finish eating and then we'll let Briar come in <coughs> and see he's kind of wearing some of it but he's got a nice big belly on him now it's him your belly it's him the belly nice big belly on him um, that's what we want nice big fat healthy puppies uh, so we'll let her come in and she'll kind of clean up and she'll clean them up and uh, clean out the bowls or whatever they didn't eat. And then probably, so today's Saturday, it's the third, um, tomorrow's the fourth. As usual, we don't have any plans because we have no life because this is what we do. Um, but we did get some fireworks and we are gonna light those off for Aiden. Um, he really enjoys that. So we'll go ahead and do that tomorrow night. Um, good for all these babies to hear all that noise as well. We do um, firearm testing and stuff like that with them in part of our temperament stuff tests. But uh, yeah, so we'll be around um, here for the fourth, taking care of the babies. And probably Monday or Tuesday, Briar will go home and that's when I'll transition these guys onto soaked kibble instead of the milk and the canned food. But I'm super happy, super happy with these guys. Um, they're turning out really nice. Typical figgy babies. <laughs> Purple's got food all over her face. We'll have an update. <laughs> Look at your face. Let me get you a, let me get you a, a white. Let's get you a white. 
<laughs> it's hard to do it one-handed. Really hard to do it one-handed. Hold on. I don't have my helper right now. He's sleeping. There you go. Now his face is clean. Look at you, pretty girl. There's Pinky. Oh, you're pottying in the non-potty spot. I'm trying to get them to lay on this um, this rug. I like. I really like these rugs. Um, <laughs> our supplier quit carrying them, but I, and I couldn't even tell you what brand they are. Um, they're kind of like a chamois. I've seen some bath mats that are the same thing, but they really absorb a lot. So I like for them to sleep over here. I'm trying to teach them to sleep over here on that, and then go to the bathroom over here on the other side, but they haven't quite got it yet. And that's okay. They'll learn. Look at your face. Look at your face. All full of food. Your face all full of food. Purple and the forming girl are over there. Oops, I'm sorry. I made noise. They're over there cleaning themselves up. That looks like light blue, if I can... Nope, that's regular blue. Where's light blue? Where you, there's light blue. There's light blue. Your faces, it's all dirty. Yes, they are. So we're not going to give this litter a letter. Um, these are just going to be the briar puppies. Briar figgy. Hashtag the figgy. Looks like everybody's done eating. And they'll continue to clean up a little bit, but that is these babies. Mm -hmm. That's purple getting close, and this is light blue. It's purple. Oh, look at the food on your face. Put all the food on your face. Light blue's feeling good. Feeling sassy, huh? Yeah? You feeling sassy? <laughs> Put the food on your face. Look at all the wrinkles on his face. He's gonna be a big boy. That's orange. Orange and green are the two big ones. My orange is purple. Purple's a big girl, too. They're all good sized pups. You go on to sleep. You go on to sleep? Yeah. Oh, they just want me, and they're all piled up on the front of the box here. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. I know, I love you too. Yes, I do. I love you too. Orange. And green. They got their little stuffed animal in here. All right, so that's the Briar Figgy puppies, three and a half weeks old. Um, we'll update again soon, probably once they are out in the other puppy pen. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the babies.